Let's let's get into 12 and 2, the momentum. I know it didn't end the way you wanted, but how much of that carried over into the spring? Uh, it hasn't changed since the day one. Uh, our, our kids have been bought in uh, since our very first team meeting. Um, and it seems like, you know, it was 100 years ago after all the things we've been through. But since December 9, 2019, our players have been totally bought in, and uh, they've been the best, whether we were – Winning games, losing games, going through COVID, George Floyd. Uh, our guys have never blinked, and they're an absolute joy to be around, David, every day. Coach, how much momentum have you been able to build going into what is a very exciting schedule for you this year? Houston, Army, Texas. Uh, look, you're, you're playing as diverse a schedule in Texas against different teams from around as maybe anybody in the state ever has this year. Do you, do you, are your players feeling that that excitement going in? Uh, you know, I, I'd be honest uh, to tell you that we, we really – the Houston game is 140 days out. That's the one we're focused on, right? Um, we're going to be a lot better offensively. We've got nine three-year starters. We've got to replace a very good left tackle and a running back. Defensively, we took the big hit. You know, we lost our nose. We lost our four. We lost our Sam, our wheel, our boundary safety. We lost the NFL corner. That's where it's going to be hard. Uh, but to answer your question, if you follow that up with Army, then you follow that up with University of Texas. That's three top 25 programs back to back to back. Uh, it will be very interesting to see if we've recruited to the standpoint to be able to handle the depth to last that long. And uh, But it, it doesn't matter. The first one is the most important with Houston 140 days out. Coach, you mentioned your your NFL cornerback there, Tariq Wool, and I remember that was a big recruiting win over Baylor uh, back in back in the day. But uh, just what did you see from him development wise? He was obviously a very good athlete coming in, uh, but any surprise that he's now where he's he's being projected? Well, he was a receiver uh, when we got here, and I think the very last game or two they might let him dabble over there. So when we got here, uh, that was the biggest decisions where to put him. And uh, we decided to put him at corner, and Tariq was very, you know, supportive of that. He's always been long and rangy and been able to run. He just had to mature and grow into his body. And our strength coach, Ryan Follow, did a fantastic job. Uh, but let's be honest, you know, you don't, you don't, no one creates 4 two forty guys. Those guys are born. How much does having a name like that, a player in the draft, getting this kind of attention help a program? Well, we've, 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 we're different, and our, our players on this roster know that as well. You know, you flash back, we were recruiting with a high school football coach uh, in, a, in one of the worst facilities in the entire country. Uh, we now have a $45 million facility that's as good as anybody's in the country. Uh, we play in the Alamo Dome. Uh, we've gone to back-to-back -back bowls. We've won 19 games in the last two years. Uh, we're recruiting a different player now than we first got here. Uh, we're moving to the AAC, which we know that's going to be a much tougher league for us to go into. And everybody says, yeah, but you beat Memphis. Yeah, we beat them one time. Uh, you're going to have to play somebody else the very next week just like them. So our depth has to get there. Uh, if we wait to go to the AAC before we start getting ready for the AAC, uh, that, that league's going to eat our lunch. we 